Hello everyone, today we are going to unbox an amazing product which is an RVG eye sensor from Woodpecker. I was using uh, for a very short period of time, uh, approx 10 days. So let's see what we will get in the box. This is how the Woodpecker eye sensor box looks like. At the back you will get some stickers and the dimension of the sensor which is 250mm into 220mm into 25mm and the authentication sticker along with some QR codes. So let's see what we will get inside the box. The first thing you will notice is the main sensor along with two pen drives. I'll tell you the function of each pen drive. The first one is Sentinel key which we will use to unlock the software and the second one is the main software key which I'll tell you how to install it. In my laptop it is already installed but I'll let you know. And the third thing you will get some screws to mount the bracket which holds the RVG main sensor. And this is the USB drive. With some product name and model name written on it that is iSensor H1. And this is the main sensor came with some protective layer which you should not remove that because uh, this silicone layer protects your sensor from accidental damage or some accidental drops you can see the sensor thickness is very low it is very thin very ergonomic and very comfortable for the patient too so the patient doesn't feel any discomfort while using this RVG So let's plug in the main software key. After plugging, uh, you can see some random name appeared on my computer. So click on it. I got the older version of software in that USB drive, but you can talk to the customer care and opt for the newer version that is version 1.0.3. So install this software instead of installing the older version then uh, you can remove your usb drive and now you need to plug in the main uh, you can see the sentinel key so you have to plug it first the red light will appear on that sentinel key and now you you can see there are two icons appeared on your desktop the first one is ai dental server and the second is ai dental client so you need to click on the ai dental server so the server is starting this process needs to be done first because this software can unlock your main software so you have to uh, do the do this process first so the database is okay the service is okay now you have to click the cross button now you can remove your sentinel key so now you have to plug your main sensor After plugging in, now you are ready to open the main software. So open the main software. So this is how the software looks like. So this is a very simple and intuitive software you can see. So I've done some cases, so I'll show you some samples of different different patients. So this is a female patient, this is a dentition patient, some of the posterior, some of the anterior tooth and some of the deciduous tooth. So you can plan your treatment according to your needs. So these are some of the samples. You can see the sensor is well enough to take a good picture to get you a better reliable treatment plan so how to add a patient first click on that icon and you can type the name of the patient like i type rahul as my patient and the age should be 25 and you can change the region country state city and add the patient when you add the patient now you have to go to acquisition and now you can select the tooth number of which tooth number you want to take the x-ray like a 
फाइव एंड सिक्स और सिक्स और सेवन सो नाउ यू कैन सी द सेंसर इज सेलेक्टेड यू हैव टू क्लिक ऑन दैट ओपन बटन द वेन यू विल क्लिक ऑन दैट ओपन बटन यू कैन सी इट विल बी रिटर्न क्लोज दैट मीन्स योर सेंसर इज रेडी टू टेक द एक्स रे सो नाउ यू कैन टेक एक्स रे एंड आफ्टर टेकिंग एक्स रे यू कैन सी ऑन योर डायग्नोसिस एंड आई एम नॉट टेकिंग दैट एक्स रे ऑफ द राहुल बिकॉज इट इज एट फॉर द डेमो पर्पज सो आई विल टेक सम my some of my patients are pa so uh, this is nirmala so i'll take that patient for the diagnosis and uh, see you can see uh, two three image together or if you want to see the, a particular image you can see the particular image too so from here you can control the brightness from here you can control the contrast of the image and from here you can control the gamma of the image and this is the lamp to enhance the image and this is the magnification you can see my file is 1 mm short from the apex i can zoom in and see and get a better look of it and this is to change the color and this will invert the black and white image means the black will appear white and the white will appear black and from here you can rotate your image right to left or left to right and this is for the lateral inversion right left see the other patients you can see so this is a lower molar i will do in the case of an rct is of a lower molar so i will uh, i will let you know how to uh, change the contrast see i can increase the contrast decreasing the contrast increasing the brightness reducing the gamma and now change my color or you can see where i can use my lamp to see the better look i can change the color i can invert the color so whatever you want to do with the software it will let you do it you can zoom in and zoom out by using a scroll with your mouse or you can do it from that bar also and after all that you can prepare a report means you can print out this iopa so how to print just click on the left button drag the image and uh, put on that top corner top most corner and it will uh, just show you the image that image is pasted now you can print it out you can write the diagnosis report also if you want so this is how the software works it's very easy now you can see the inacquisition it is for the adult also and it is for the pedo also so which type of patient do you have you can use it for the both of it so in settings you can see the basic clinical management image processing ip settings and device management you here you can see the tooth uh, tooth notation like palmer universal or fdi from here you can see 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 from here you can see the clinic management image processing ip settings and device management so you need not to touch that and uh, it is very easy very intuitive and very easy to understand thank you for watching see you in the next